welcome to our prenatal prenatal yoga um, I'm gonna, hopefully you can hear me with the music in the background I'm gonna lower the music a bit I think it's a bit too high Okay, so welcome everyone once again. I'll give you a couple minutes to get props if you need, if you need them to your practice. So I always recommend a um, cushion or a blanket to sit on. I always like to prop my bottom, my pelvis up so it's nice and, and cushy here. Um, if you need or if you have blocks, or thick books you can use them for hand support if you have a strap or an elastic you can use it um, as well for um, forward fold bending and stretching like that and um, I recommend um, or a bolster or a thick pillow maybe a little one of the longest ones or if you have a pregnancy pillow um, that you usually sleep with maybe between your knees at night your thighs so you're welcome to use that as well um, so welcome this uh, particular practice of prenatal is um, directed to all all stages of pregnancy so if you are in the first trimester second or third you can always modify it accordingly. You can always decide which um, poses are comfortable and you like to do, which poses are not for you at this particular moment in time. So you make the decision of what feels good because the practice is all about feeling good during and after, um, especially when we are taking deep inhalations and exhalations and long exhalations allowing the body to relax and expand um, it's great for body and mind all together so we're going to start by actually taking the hands and warming them up although i know it's a, really a summer day outside it's hot and humid and we love it we're waiting for it all winter long uh, I'm happy anyways, I don't complain about the heat. <laughs> so rubbing the hands if they're not hot or warm enough. And closing the eyes and just placing the heels of the palms onto the eyes. So softening the eyes. And breathing in, breathing out. We're still gonna sit up nice and tall. We're trying to find the center of our pelvis. And allow the eyelids to maintain and Continue to release its softness in towards the heels of your palms. And enjoy your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Good, now we're slowly gonna release the hands down or to hugging the baby or to the thighs and knees, but keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna start tuning into our bodies a little bit more. Let's take a few inhale in through the nose, out the mouth. Inhale. And release. <sighs> Any tension that we're holding, if it's physical or emotional. Again, inhale. And out. <sighs> and one more time, breathing in. And breathing out. Continue sitting comfortably or cross-legged or legs forward and tuning into your body, into what's going on right now at this moment. So if we decide to bring the hands to the baby, just tuning in, do we feel any movements? Do we feel any butterflies? And if there are some areas that the baby is pressing on, maybe the ribs, maybe the diaphragm, place your hands um, on that area. And as you breathe in, just find an expansion. So with more expansion, more space 
for you and the baby, you'll find release. And as you exhale, just release back into words your body. So inhale, find expansion in that area that needs space, creating that space with the breath. And with the exhale, just relaxing that space back into the body. So continue on your inhale, creating lots of space. And if you feel you need to change the space we need in our body right now, so moving the hands maybe to the upper chest and creating space. Finding the lift maybe at the upper chest when we breathe in and then release on the exhale. And continue for about three more like that. Breathing in, breathing out. And one more, inhale. And exhale, good. If your eyes are closed, you can softly open the eyes and reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Let's lengthen your right arm a little bit more than the left, the right side of the body, and breathe. And then lengthen the opposite arm, the opposite side of the body. Good. And then interlace the fingers, place them behind your hand and neck for support. Lean in towards them, open up the chest, draw the elbows away from the center line. And as you exhale, tuck the chin and hug the elbows. As you inhale, lean to the hands. Get support from the hands. And as you exhale, tuck in. And one more time. Inhale, lean into the hands. And exhale, tuck in and stay here for about three breaths. Come back up to center. We're gonna lower the right hand down by our, by our side or on a prop. Lean towards the right side and lengthen the left arm all the way over the ear. Good, breathing into the left side, anchoring your left hip, left thigh, left knee. And come back up to center and we'll switch. So lowering the opposite arm and releasing and stretch the other arm on top. Good, and breathe into those hands. Breathe into the ribs. Good, and come back. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath. Exhale all the way behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another. Open the chest. If you feel free to look up or drop the head back if that's okay for your neck. Take three more breaths. Good, come back into center. Let's give those shoulders a big rolls, a few circles. Good. And change that direction. Good. I'm gonna come to eagle arm, placing, coming to cactus, and then placing the right um, underneath the left. Now if you cannot clasp the hands, hands can come on the shoulders, but just keep the shoulders down. Take a breath, reach the forearms up as you breathe in. As you exhale, tuck the elbows down and keep the shoulders down. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, draw it down towards the ground. And one more. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, we're going to tuck the chin and round the upper back to create space between the shoulder blades. And really tuck the chin in so you can stretch the back of the neck. On the next inhale, reach up. Exhale together. Good. Let's try it with the other arm. So placing the opposite arm, whatever that may be, underneath. And again, if you cannot clasp the hands, you can bring your hands to your shoulders. So I'll demo, if the hands are to the shoulders, we just lift the elbows up as we breathe in and tuck them all the way down towards the chest. And again, inhale, if you cannot clasp. And exhale, tuck them. Good, one more, inhale. And exhale, tuck. And then we're gonna round the upper spine 
tuck the chin and breathe for three broad breaths. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring it to the center line. Just take an inhale here and sigh through the mouth. Good, and release. Let's stretch the legs in front of us, give them a little bit of a shake. Internally, externally rotating the feet a little bit, pointing, flexing the toes. We want to wake up those feet, get some blood flow through the feet, making circles through your ankles. Good. And then changing to the opposite direction. Good. Sitting nice and tall. If you would like to use a strap or elastic, a belt, towel, use it over the ball of your feet. Just keep in mind, keep space for the baby. So if you are in the third trimester or even second and you need more space, then you're just gonna open up the legs a little more, okay? So we're gonna keep the legs as straight as we can. We're gonna take a breath, roll those shoulders back and hinge forward, any amount, an inch, two inches, half an inch. Try not to round the spine here and breathe for three. If you'd like to drop your head, the head can be dropped. Two more breaths. And last one. And on the next breath, allow the spine to round. Don't lift the shoulders, keep them down and just round the spine. And I'm gonna breathe for three. For four, one more. Slowly, we're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time. Keep the strap over the ball of your left foot and open it out to the left. Close your right, so foot, right foot to the inner thigh here. Our um, center of our front of your hip bones are still centering forward. And we're just gonna take it up and over. Again, doesn't have to be much of a dip here. Make sure you create lots of space. You keep a lot of space here in the um, left side, waistline and torso, and the shoulder is down. If the, sh if the right shoulder is achy, you can keep the right arm up to the ceiling instead of above your ear. Good. Take two more breaths. And then come all the way up. We're gonna take an open twist out as much as it feels comfortable. Breathe for three. Good, and release. We're gonna turn to face the left leg, and we're gonna take a little hinge towards the left leg. If that feels good, you can take it a little deeper. Three more breaths. And slowly roll up. Good. And very gently we'll change sides. So right leg long or the opposite leg long, leg straight. The Instagram um, live videos, I'm still trying to figure out my right and my left there. It's not a mirror, it's like an opposite mirror from the back. So if you have done one side, just do the other side. We're gonna hold that belt, same leg, same arm, and come over. And again, if it feels not comfortable on that shoulder, you just straighten that arm up. And you can also look up if that feels good. And breathe. One more breath. And then come all the way up. We're gonna do an open twist to the back. Lean back, open, keep that um, collarbone wide and back into center. We're going to turn in towards that leg and we're going to pull a little forward. And again, we're all, every time we're keeping our leg, legs in any angle, we're trying to center our sitting bones and our pelvis. One more breath. Good. And slowly up. Let's bring the leg slightly forward, wider than your hips, hold below your knees, and we're going to do some cat and cow. Open the chest as we breathe in, and 
around the spine, tuck the chin as we breathe out. And then do two more. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, round the spine. So it's also a pelvic tilt, forward and back. And one more, inhale. Good, and exhale. And let's stay here with a rounded spine and chin tuck for three breaths. One, two, and three. Great. Let's remove our pillow or cushion if we were sitting on one and come to tabletop. If you need any support under your knees, you can place again a blanket or, ta or a pillow. We're gonna come on our finger pads. So we're gonna get a little bit of um, strength on our finger pads. So they are still below our shoulders, like we're coming into um, a tabletop, right? With, instead of flat hands, we're just lifting them a little bit. And we're gonna tuck the toes under. So I'll show you from the side. So toes are tucked under, good. And now as we breathe in, we're shifting the weight to surpass, shoulders surpassing our wrists, a little bit strength on our finger pads. And as we breathe out, we are sitting on our heels with a toes tuck. And again, breathing in, keeping the collarbone wide, and breathing out, shifting back. Again, inhale, forward. Good, exhale back. And last time, inhale forward and exhale back. And now we're gonna stay here with our toes are tucked, putting some pressure on the ball of your feet and just moving your hips side to side. So getting a little bit more pressure on one side and then the other side. Last time, good. And let's bring our hands back onto the mat, coming to a tabletop coming to a cat and cow, rolling the shoulders back and maybe looking up, dropping the baby a little down, tailbone up. Exhale, pressing onto the hand, tucking the chin and hugging the baby towards you. That means we're using some of the abdominal muscles to get nice and strong. So we're hugging the baby gently. We're using the abdominal muscles gently. Good. And one more. And exhale. Good. If you're still comfortable with downward dog, let's tuck our toes and lift our hips up and back. You can give your head a shake. You can pedal the feet. And breathe in, breathe out. Drop the knees back into tabletop. Now, if tabletop is something that's not comfortable for your wrists, you can stay tabletop on fists. So you can crunch the fist, stay on fist or forearms if you need to. Let's do some strengthening of our core. Although we're pregnant, we still want to keep our core nice and strong. So we can protect our lower back, protect our organs. So I'm going to show you, it's a very, very subtle strengthening. So our back is long and flat, like I'm holding a cup of hot tea on my spine. So really wide as well, long, wide. There's space between the shoulder blades as I'm pressing my hands onto the mat. I breathe in, I allow the baby to release down towards the ground. I breathe out, I hug it back in towards me. And I can include a, a pelvic floor contraction. I breathe in, I release. So it's only the baby and the abdomen that contracts and relaxes. Inhale and exhale, bring it back towards you. Let's do three more. Inhale, release the baby. Exhale, bring it back. Two more, inhale, release. Nothing moves, not the tailbone, not the head, not the shoulders. One more, inhale and exhale good let's give our wrist a little bit of a um, rest here so we're going to come to wide-legged child pose wide knees big toes touch and just resting down you can rest you can bend your forearms you can clench maybe the 
the fist and the fingers a little bit and drop the head down. I'm gonna take three to five breaths. Good, and slowly come back into your tabletop. We're gonna bring the right leg out, toes towards you, towards the front, sorry. And pressing on the baby toe, reaching the right arm up and over. And maybe if you'd like a little bit more of extension and opening through the chest, you can walk this on around your waistline and lean back. But the only thing, you don't let that left shoulder or the other shoulder come in. Keep it stacked above that uh, wrist. Good. Take two more breaths. And if you'd like, you can also lift those right toes up towards the ceiling. Good. One more breath. Good. And now I'm slowly going to lower the hand. We're going to bend the right knee and come up to a modified a um, warrior two. So front of the hip bones lift a little bit, hugging the baby so we can drop the tailbone down. We're going to bring that right arm to the inner knee to press out and reach the opposite arm. So we find a nice lengthening all the way from that left knee up to the torso and up to the arm. Good, one more breath. And come back into center and release. Let's try that on the other side. So the left leg straight, toes to the front, reach the left arm up, keep that other shoulder or right shoulder down. You can always round the arm and lean back, breathe. And if you choose to, you can lift that left toes up Good, and then slowly bend the knee and come up to a modified warrior two. The foot, by the way, is in line with the other knee. Take the back of your hand, press the knee out so it's in line, and reach the opposite arm up. And don't allow the back to arch on the baby to come forward. So hug the baby, lift the front of the hip bones, neutralize the spine, good, and come back. Let's take our downward facing dog if you're comfortable to do so. And then let's walk the feet to the hands or the hands to the feet. Allow the knees to micro bend and slowly lift one bone at a time, rolling up and reaching the shoulders, the head are the last one. And let's roll them a little bit. Good. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale together, stay for one breath, and out. Good, let's take a sun salutation with baby plank. Inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold. You can keep the knees micro bends if you need to. Hands on to somewhere on the leg so we can lengthen the spine. Hug the baby coming to a baby plank, so I'll show you what it is. Shins are pressed under the ground. We're starting in tabletop. Walk the hands about a palm or palm and a half forward. And shifting the weight forward, shoulders are away from the ears, hugging the baby, so not letting the, sh the baby drop or the shoulders collapse. And you can breathe out through the mouth for three more. One more. Good, and if you're comfortable again, come back into your downward dog. If you're comfortable in downward dog, I meant. And then walk again to the hands, and micro bend the knees, and slowly lift up one bone at a time, roll the shoulders back. Good, take a breath, and out. Stay for a breath, and out. Great. So we're going to do some standing hip rotations and then a balance pose. So if you need, if you require a post or a wall for support, go ahead. If you're okay, just bring your hands to your hips. Shift your weight to your left leg so your left leg is nice and steady. And we're going to just, just rotate the right hip. Big circles with the right hip joint, right knee, 
good. And then let's change that direction. So it's kind of a balance with some movement here. Again, hugging the baby a little bit. So we are supporting ourselves. Good. And let's change, shift the weight to the other leg, support yourself, and then start again. About three circles to each direction. Take them slow so you can hear maybe like my hip is kind of cracking a bit. So you might hear your hip. You might just feel it a little bit. So the slower the better. Good. And coming back into standing. Awesome. Take a breath. And exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands to your legs and release. And let's bring your um, right leg forward, left leg back. So again, if you need support under your hands, use your blocks. If you're in your third trimester and needs, need more room, the foot is gonna come to the outside, okay? So we're just gonna bend the knee, the front knee, and come up to a lunge. Now, if you need to drop that other knee down, go ahead. If you don't have to, keep it, the thigh lift up towards the ceiling, lifting the baby away from the thigh and maybe opening, bringing the arms up. Okay, we're gonna take three, to five breaths. You can always modify it. So keep that front hip back. We're aligning our body. Keep the tailbone dropped down if you can, hugging the baby. One more breath. And as you exhale, release the hands down to the block or the ground and shift your hips back. So we're trying to keep that front hip um, aligned with the back hip. Take a breath. And exhale, maybe if you can, release a little bit. And again, lengthen. And release a little bit. Good. One more lengthen. And release. Good. Let's step your back leg slightly forward as we bend the front knee. It's a 45 degree angle. We can come up to warrior one. So we still want to want to feel our front of our hips, our hip bones are facing forward. The back leg is super straight and engaged. The outer edge of your foot is pressing out. Take a breath. And release the knee maybe further down. You still want to see a glimpse of your toes. Two more breaths. Good. And then you exhale, step forward. Inhale and exhale, hands together. Stay for a breath. And out. Let's try the other side. So take inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come somewhere onto your legs. Again, the left foot stays forward. The right leg goes back or the opposite leg, whatever that may be. And if you kept your back knee down, so keep it in this um, this side as well if you kept it up lift it up so the back of your um, right thigh or the back leg is lifts up to the ceiling the back heel does not touch the ground it lifts up I'll show you from the side so you can see that it lifts up the thigh lifts the baby hugged in the arms up for three more breaths one two and three, release the hands down or to the crop. Trying to align both hips, draw the front hip back. Lengthen the spine, breathe in and release on your out breath. And again, lengthen, breathe in and release on your out breath. And one more, lengthen, breathe in and release on your out breath. Let's bend the front knee. The back leg comes into an angle of 45, coming into warrior one. So as you can see, my back leg is supporting me. My arms are up. This time, let's make bring our arms to cactus. And maybe tilt. So as we hugging the baby, okay, I don't want you to create a further arch in your spine. 
Allow the forearms maybe to tilt a little bit toward the ceiling and taking a little bit of a back bend. Still pressing the back leg. Take two more breaths. Good. And then we're gonna step forward again. Good. Take a breath. And exhale. Good. Let's take a wide stand here, wide legs. Feet parallel, take a breath, lengthen the spine, keep the legs strong. Exhale, come down, hands or in props or not. Lengthen the spine, inhale and exhale, release. Keeping the legs strong and straight. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, release. And one more time, inhale, lengthen, stay here, hug the baby. You want to tilt your pelvis slightly back. It feels like it's forward, but it's back. One more breath. Bring your hands to your legs. Reach up. And exhale. Stay for one. And exhale. Good. Let's do some squatting with some glute work. So our feet are maintaining their uh, distance. Same thing here. If you'd like the toes slightly out, we can bring them slightly out. I'm going to take a breath, inhale. As you exhale, I'm going to bring the arms forward and sit back in your chair. Knees are still pointing out. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, coming forward. Now, if the arms are heavy and you want them to just keep them here, that's okay as well. Exhale, sitting in a chair. Good. Inhale, up. You can do your contraction of pelvic floor on your exhale if you choose to. And again, inhale up and exhale. Let's do three more. Inhale, coming up and exhale. Good. One more. Inhale, coming up and exhale. Good. Pressing back onto your feet. Take a breath and out. Let's reach into your strap or belt and we're going to do our, we're going to work on our back a little bit. So you can fold it to two if it's long enough. If you need more space then just keep a one long belt. Feet are back into parallel and wide stand, the same thing they were. Again, hugging the baby, dropping the tailbone, inhale, squeezing shoulder blades, exhale, release. Again, inhale. So keeping the spine long, keeping the baby hugged so we're not creating further um, discomfort in our back. Good. Again, inhale and exhale. On the next breath, if you feel, if it feels good and you're not getting uh, dizzy spells, you can come all the way down. Again, keep the pelvic floor lifted. Don't drop that um, abdominal and the baby muscles all the way. You just keep it slightly contained. Good. And then come all the way up. Take a breath. And out. Give the shoulders a little bit of a shake. We're going to do a diagonal um, stretch of the front body. So we're going to take that strap. Maybe this time I'm going to open it up completely. Again, I'm hugging my baby. My spine is nice and long. And I'm going to tilt it to one side, it's like diagonal stretch. And then I'm going to open up the body, open up the front body, and breathe. You can see my spine is still neutral. I'm not overarching, not forward or not back. Good. One more breath. And release. And we're going to stretch it onto the opposite. Good. One more breath. And release. Good. Let's throw the strap onto the side, gives your legs and arms a little bit of a shake, maybe even a little bit of a bounce, a soft bounce, and take a few breaths. Good. Let's come to a balanced posture. So we're going to shift our weight again. If you need a prop, go beside a prop. We're going to shift our weight to the left. So I'm going to show you from the side. I'm going to hold on onto my 
right ankle or foot, and then again, you can use a strap if you need to. I'm gonna lift my pelvic floor, so I'm gonna hug my baby, lift it up a little bit, and then allow the tailbone to, to tuck under a bit as I bring the thigh bone back. So it's a really nice quad stretch. And then you can reach the opposite arm up, create a balance pose, and take three more breaths here. Good, and release. Let's try that on the other side. So shifting the weight into that supported leg, hugging the baby, holding the foot or ankle or a strap, lifting front of the hip bones, so tailbone goes a little under here, so it's a pelvic rotation, pelvic tilt a little, and then knees towards one another, kicking the knee back, reaching the arm up. If you can, breathe. For three, for four, and five. Great, then give your legs a shake. Take a sand salutation from the top, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands somewhere onto your legs to support you. Take your baby plank if you'd like. Again, really focusing on our hugging the baby in towards us. That means contraction, some of the core abdominals. Shifting forward, shoulders are back. My hands are pressing away from the ground. Good, and then if you feel comfortable, you can take your damper dog or child pose. Good. Then let's drop the knees and all come to child pose. Wide knees, big toes touch. You can take a pillow, a bolster, and just rest. Allow the sitting bone to drop to the heel. Bend into that right knee. Bring the hand onto the thigh. Take a breath. Allow your opposite thigh to sink. Baby's away from the th front thigh. Reaching your left arm up and maybe open twist to the back. Now, if you feel that you're stable and you like to get a hold of your opposite foot, then I'll show you from the side. If that's something that you'd like to do, you can go ahead. And we're keeping that as a nice open twist here. Oopsie. <laughs> and breathe. Good. And gently release. Release the leg down, and we're gonna keep our hands underneath our shoulders. Your choice, staying on two hands here, using blocks, coming on forearms, whatever works. You can even sway side to side if it feels great for the hip. Good. And then we're going to change sides. So bringing the opposite leg to the edge of your mat, bending the knee, taking the other knee, the other thigh slightly back, slowly lifting the baby away from the thigh, reaching the arm up and open twist out, or getting a hold of your back foot and keeping, hugging the baby, lifting pelvic floor, protecting your back here. Two more breaths. And release. Good. Let's give our hips a little massage here. So bring your knees wide, maybe even as wide as your mat, and the arms forward and wide. And we're going to gently make big circles through our hip joint. And you can bend your elbows. You can decide if you want to move the head also. and. In the opposite direction and then slowly change direction to the opposite opposite side good moving the hips rotating all the way from the 
hip socket there. Good. And then coming back into downward dog or stepping up to standing. Let's keep the knees micro bent and slowly lift one bone at a time. And roll the shoulders back a few times. Good. Inhale. And out. And let's stay here for two more breaths. Out through the mouth. Finding the support underneath you, strong legs, finding the feet, the four corners of each foot pressing down. The arches of our feet are active because we're pressing down on the four corners of our feet. Allow the weight of the body, of the baby to drop down to the legs. back into a squatting position. This time I'm going to turn the toes out. We're going to bring our hands to our uh, hip creases or our thighs. Take a breath. As you exhale, come down and lift your right heel up. Inhale, come up. Exhale, the left. Good. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And again, you can do contraction of pelvic floor. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. One in each side. Inhale, exhale. One more. Exhale. Now, you can stay here or lift both heels to the to up towards the ceiling and breathe for five. Pressing on your ball of your feet for four, four, three, four, two, one more. And pressing back up, turn the feet parallel to one another. Squeeze in between your thighs if you're squeezing a beach ball. Take a breath. And out. Good. Take a side stretch, right arm down, left arm up and over. You can look up to the arm if you'd like. And then switch. squatting position now. If you feel that you're comfortable squatting without a prop, yeah, I don't want you to feel that you're putting too much pressure on your um, creases of your hips here or your pelvis. So if you're comfortable to sit like this, go ahead. If you need to sit on a block or a uh, bolster or anything else like that, go ahead. Now the hands can come to the heart if you'd like, pushing the knees away, shoulders back, the arms can come together, or if you feel like you're in between falling and staying uh, balanced, you can also take a block or two in front of you to kind of keep you balanced, keep your weight distributed between the front and the back. And close the eyes, and let's try to take 10 breaths here. So wherever you are, and breathe. Just breathe, enjoy, relax the face, the muscles of the face are not tense or soft. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Last three breaths. Very slowly release the hands. You're welcome to come or to child pose or to downward facing dog. It's probably your last downward dog. So let's pedal the feet. Good. And then let's drop into child pose. Wide, knee, big, big, wide knees, big toes touch. And let's keep this time, keep the arms active. So sending the arms forward straight, keeping the elbows lifting, pressing the seat, 
the bum down towards the ground. So I'll show you from the side. Good. And breathe in, breathe out. sole of your feet together. Again, just bear in mind you don't want to feel a lot of pressure here. So if you're already feeling some pressure, just stay up nice and tall. If it feels good, just hinge a little bit and maybe walk the hands forward if that feels good, if there is room for the baby here. And breathe. Now you walk forward as much as it feels good to you. One more breath. Good. Then slowly walk the hands back. Let's hug the knees in towards center and just bring the arms and rest to the head. And take a few breaths here in and out. Good. and slowly roll up. Let's bring our legs to straight. Give them a little shake here. Good. Now we're going to come to a or half a pigeon or a full pigeon with that nice uh, prop that we have. So bending into the left shin. So the left shin or a shin, the right if you choose to, is parallel to the front edge of your mat. So we're walking it back all the way to our bolster here. And that other shin comes back. So sometimes that's enough for us. And we're gonna, just gonna stay here and breathe. You can also use the props in the front. If you feel you'd like a little bit more, you can bring the hands to the front or to a block and just walk that leg further back until maybe it's straight. I'm gonna show you again from the side how it looks like from the side. So if you choose to bring it straight, and that's okay, that feels good, you can just bring it straight and then slowly maybe come down onto props here. So the front knee is all the way back towards the bolster. That's kind of a modified pigeon. So you can allow the head to rest on a block or a pillow. And we're gonna take about 10 breaths here. So head is heavy muscles around the face are relaxed. You can swallow a couple of times, relax the muscles of your throat and the jaw. Continue to breathe and relax. Again, if you need to come out of that pose earlier, please do. shake and we can also um, allow them to both knees to move side to side. Good. Now we're going to the second side. So your right or left shin coming um, all the way tucked in towards that pillow or bolster and the opposite leg behind you. And again, that can be enough for you maybe. Okay, again, we don't want to feel any discomfort here. We just want to feel a nice, a nice stretch, a comfortable, relaxing stretch. And then slowly, if you choose to walk that leg straight, align it, walk, walk it straight slowly, and move that front knee back again. That will give you the proper alignment and the proper um, feel here all the way from the knee 
to the glute, to the IT bend, and then maybe coming down again. And breathing. If you choose to breathe out through the mouth, that's another possibility. Just enjoy that pose. Take about five more breaths. Again, if you want to stay longer, you can stay longer and just don't avoid what I'm talking, what I'm saying, and just decide to stay longer. Go ahead. again of your choice and let's come back into our meditation so bringing the hands again or in the thighs or in the baby the palms can face up if you'd like if it feels good Hot palms facing up is opening yourself up to receiving receiving love acceptance, anything that you wish for. So you can continue keeping the palms facing up. Let's come back to our breath. Take a few inhales and exhales. And allow the body to slowly settle down. Take a moment to notice if there's any subtle changes physically, mentally, from our practice. What did our body and mind receive God from this beautiful practice? And then we're gonna start a little bit of a breath work here. So we're gonna breathe in for three, send a breath anywhere you feel it's needed. And breathe out for three. As you breathe out, just allow those area to relax. So starting together, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, three, Two and one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three. 
three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. So continue with the breath. I'm just going to guide you quickly through a body scan. So we're going to conclude our practice today. So I'd like to thank you first of all for joining me on, our, on this beautiful journey in your pregnancy, which is my favorite class. A, uh, a body scan. Starting with the head. Noticing the weight of the head on your spine, on your vertebrae. Noticing the skin on your face, the tightness or release of the skin on your face. And try to allow the skin. space between the lips, unsealed lips. Noticing if you can let the jaw drop a little happier. Relax the muscles of your throat all the way down towards your shoulders and collarbone. Noticing the weight of your arms on your legs. Noticing the weight of your shoulders. Try to continue to let them, allow them to be happy. Noticing the space between your fingers. The way their fingers and the palms are placed your thighs or knees or ground. Noticing the weight of your glutes and your pelvis onto the ground. Noticing the weight of your legs, the weight of the right leg. Of your left leg. Allow the muscles of the legs to sink, to melt down and towards the earth. Notice the weight of your heels onto the ground. the space between your toes. Noticing the skin 